brother. Beat that is uh, just maybe me... sound like something Tupac a rap to. Y'all know when I was listening to Barry White and Barry White play all the old school on Pandora 70s or what have you. All of a sudden Tupac came in. I said, Whoa, Lord, what in the world? I ain't know Tupac made songs like that, but honey, he was he was saying some stuff. Tupac yeah. goes crazy, man. Check, we check, check. Yesterday. Check, My father check. would not let me do nothing but sit in the backyard and enjoy the blessing that God has given us. You understand? And then my grandbabies came. Yeah. Bring that closer. That mic. Yes, ma'am. My nizzle, you ready to do your thing this? Yeah, you know it. All right, y'all. We ain't gonna be long, but we gonna be strong. We gonna be talking tonight. Oh yeah, we talking. Hey, Marlo Marleo. Oh heck, I can't ever pronounce it. Taylor. Hey Taylor, how you doing, girl? How you doing? Diane I Brown see Dows. My fella Edward Shabazz is watching. Thank you for tuning in. To Betty Jones, thank you for tuning in. Oh yeah, y'all, we talking tonight. Oh, we gonna talk. Anna, Anna Davis. Davis, love, 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 love you. Latrella, God, Gadsden, Sam's, how you doing? Yes, yes, we talking tonight, y'all. Check, 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 check. Globetrotters. Oh, yeah, yeah. Globetrotters are here. Tammy Stokes, how you doing? Brandon Williams, how are you? Guys, everybody, I want to thank y'all so much for tuning in and um, hanging out with us. I'm sorry, I want to switch out those mics. Okay. This one pick up way better than that. Then this one, well, maybe it's because we got the thing on it. What do you think? I just want to switch them up. Okay. And you the producer. Go on and produce, honey. Go on and produce. We just chillaxing. Yeah, that's hey. better. Hey, you hear it? You hear it better? Check, check, check. Well, maybe that one is not plugged up the right way. So, Brandon, I'll, I'll work you. He on said that. next Friday I'm going to donate some money because y'all show. I guess to y'all show how y'all doing. Hey, well, y guess what? We're doing good. We're doing good. Hey, well. All right, here it is. Here it is, Maestro. Here it is. Where did you get that from? I was at um, the Weeping Time Festival. I got one at the Weeping Time Festival, and I got one at the Port Wentworth 
Black History Celebration. Yeah. So I got actually I got three of them, different colors and what have you. You know. And oh I yeah. Need we getting good sound now. We got good sound. Oh yeah. All right, go on and do your thing, fizzle my nizzle. What you waiting on? Come. Huh? I said, go on and do your thing. Oh, yeah, y'all already ain't hey, sorry about that. I was, no. I was just checking to make sure the sound was good. But, um, Port, y'all, y'all been good to me, and I love your show, and I want to be a support system where y'all been a support system to me. I thank you so much. Oh. Shout out, Brandon Williams. Thank you, Brandon. Red or red. Thanks good so evening. Much. Good evening. Hey, Port to Port Music Group. That's P O R T, the number two. P O R T Music Group on all platforms. Please like, share, subscribe, download. Port to Port MG.com. Go right over there. You can book your studio time. You can get your video shot. You can get your, um, if you want to be do podcasts, we do that. You want to order merch, we do all of that stuff. So, um, uh, y'all make sure y'all tune into that. Uh, once again, that's P O R T, the number two P O R T music group on all platforms, man. Every Monday, listen to live radio every Tuesday by us, for us, with us, you know. Um, shout out to the village. Um, every Wednesday, Bitter Rivals Radio, Truth is Told, Lies and Fold, and every Thursday, Talk Your Ish, Doc Wild, Queen Cougar, Poe Pimp. Talking they ish, you know what I mean? We, yes. we do, they got they're gonna have a whole new set. We, and I'm we're gonna I'm gonna see if we can do the same thing. I'm gonna show it to you later. But um okay. uh yeah, but y'all, y'all, y'all make sure y'all tune and, in. And we need to go on that show too. Oh yeah. And they need to come on this show. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yes. Y'all need to, t- but y'all make sure y'all tune in for all that. P O R T, the number two, P O R T mm-hmm. music group on all platforms. Please, um, you know, um, Brandon said it. Y'all donate, please. Yeah. You know what I'm yes. saying? Uh, uh, dollar sign, port to port music. I don't care if you send a dollar, two, five, ten, hundred, you know, whatever, yeah, whatever, send whatever your heart y'all say. Y'all gotta send something because listen, we do this for you, John Q. Public. One thing I can say for certain and two things for sure. People have not been engaged in the past in the political process until we started doing these podcasts. When they put a big billboard up on Montgomery Crossroads in Abercorn that says social media is not the news, what that mean? They're telling you it is. What that mean? That mean, doggone it, that, that paper done dwindled down to this. Look here. It ain't a paper no more. It's a pamphlet. Okay? You don't see a whole lot of people watching uh, the mainstream media Mm -hmm. because of this. Because of this. You get all the news you want on your phone. And then you get news from all around the world. People don't watch the mainstream media as much, not like that. And they damn sure don't read the paper. No. (laughs) Who read the paper? The paper late. Yeah, the, yeah. It's the, late. By, yeah, the, it by is. the time the yeah, the paper get to you, the they do it from from social media, right? Exactly. But guess they what else? Social media, and then what they do, they get it from social media, and then they try to put a spin on it. Exactly. But guess what else? By the time the the uh, mainstream media get it, it's already on. Yeah. on it's all over the line. place. It, you know what it, I'm it, saying? They travel on social media at rapid speed when they get it. It, it, it's, it, old yeah, it's old news. Yeah, it's old news. It's old news. Yeah, we know about that. All right, y'all. Do y'all still get do... newspapers? No, I don't get the news. You, know you still read the paper? You know something? Sometimes I, I, people I, I, send I, I, me articles. Know, I, 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 and I, 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 what have you? I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I stopped that. I stopped that. Uh, 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 I stopped yeah, who changes the papers out, right? Mm-hmm. Remember one time they used to have a whole stack? He only had this. <laughs> they like the little kids. He only had these many. <laughs> uh, I uh, know. Not. You know what, y'all? Think about this. Our world is changing. At rapid speed. At rapid speed. Yeah. You know, America used to be a, what do you call it? A, a, a power country. Mm-hmm. It's not a power country. What is it called? What is it called? We were a country. You talking about the United States? Yes, the United States. We were the, I guess, a okay, superpower. Is that superpower, you- exactly. We were a superpower. And now, I mean, you can see the dollar is dropping. Things that we were accustomed to is not happening. Well, look, you know, look, China look, is look, coming look, in and look, taking look, over. Look what they want to push on the kids. 
Oh my gosh, yes, right. yeah. yes. But y'all, let's talk about this right here because I know everybody saw it. I know. Let's talk Hold about on. that. Um, what? You have to. Oh, oh, oh. Let me do the disclaimer. What y'all hear on this podcast is not necessarily the opinion of yours truly, your host, me, Alicia Miller Blakely, RJP, our producer, our maestro, our producer and owner of the studio. I'm Maestro, our musical director. And let me tell you something. If you come on this show, don't try to change this music because you will get told about that. Okay? Uh, it's not the opinion of us. It is the opinion of our guests. If they say something that you don't like, by all means, please don't go out in the community and spread negativity. Pick up the phone and give us a call. Put the paper in the number. I already there. did. Give us a call at 912-631-0731. And y'all, please call in. If y'all, if, if we're talking about something and you're interested in it or you want to make a comment, you can call us. We ain't going to uh, uh, shame you or embarrass you or none of that stuff because everybody has a right to his or her opinion. Thanks. Okay? So give us a call. Let's have the conversation. You might change the mind of the person who said what it was. You didn't like what was being said. Or they might change your mind. You never know. And you won't know until you do what? I'll be right back. Call. Let me see who that is. Oh, that's some people downstairs. Okay, y'all. So, with that being said, oh, okay, that's JP talking. Okay, I'm about to say, who in the world is that out there talking like that? Okay, but anyway, y'all, um, just give us a call. Let's have the conversation. Let's have the discussion. Let's have the discussion. Vanessa Taylor, girl, so good to see you tuning in. And Vanessa, we got to get you on the show as well because you're doing some great things, some phenomenal things um, for Myquan Green and um, his, his business. And I am just loving it. Y'all, let me tell you. Sunday, I was invited to First Tabernacle Baptist Church to listen to this young man named Jaquan Oliver. Jaquan Oliver. That young man preached a sermon about praise. Don't forget your praise. How you doing, baby? You all right? Oh, them boys right outside, man. Sorry. Oh, I love you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't forget your praise. Okay. And um, when I tell you for that young man to preach that sermon the way he did, y'all, I posted it on my praise. But what he talked about was still people. What what do you think he meant by still people, Maestro? Huh? Still people. Why are you messing with still people? Still doing the same old thing they've been doing for years. Yeah. Still lying, still stealing, still tripping, still uh uh how did he say? Oh my god, he 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 said it so but the, the, he wound it up. He ended it with one, one still that stuck with me. Still stupid. He said. <laughs> he said some people just still, just stuck in still. Don't know how to migrate from still to doing something different. And, and phony it's the like new they, real. they phony is the new real. It's like they're just stuck. In the same old mindset, the same old pattern. If this the way it was done back then, this the way it should be done now. You know, and, and the sad part is when you see people doing things differently in your mind, in a lot of a, a lot of folks' mind, it's like you shouldn't be doing that. That's not the way it's supposed to be done. And that's y'all, that's that's not how it go. When you when you're green, you grow, when you're ripe, you're rotten. Oh, say that again. When you're green, you grow. When you're ripe, you rot. Okay. Now, when you're green, you, you grow. grow. When and when you're, you're ripe, you're, you're rotten. rotten. Yeah. So some of us need to be green so that we can grow. Because yeah. the ones that's ripe and they think they know it, they, they, they making all the other ones in the basket rotten. 
You know, because if you got one sick one in there, guess what? All the rest of them going to get sick because guess what that mold going to do? That mold going to creep right on to the next one and the next one and the next one. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying that to say this. We as older folk, we need to embrace our young people. Y'all, we really need to... embrace our young people. Our young people are visionaries. They doing things differently, way differently. Now, I ain't going to agree with how some of them sisters be out here dressing. I just ain't going to agree with it. I'm sorry, because you ain't got to show everything. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to being visionaries, these young people are visionaries. They moving and shaking, and we are now in a, a, a technology uh, uh, give me that word, give me the word Technology phase, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And the world is changing ever so rapidly. And if some of us don't get a grip, like I know some people, y'all with this new uh, crypto coin, crypto coin is real, okay? The dollar ain't going to be worth nothing. And, and I give it another five, ten years. The dollar ain't going to be worth nothing. Might be less than that, you're right. You know what I'm saying? So it, it behooves you all to get acclimated to what's happening in our world. Now, with that being said, JP, you heard about that fight over there at McDonald's? I did. Did you see the fight at I McDonald's, came, Maestro? I, I fight, what fight? On Broughton Street. McDonald's on Broughton Street. Y'all know what? That's so sad. That is so, so sad. I don't know if the individual worked at um that place and I don't know what the deal was but there was a a person that went behind the counter and started fighting this worker the employee there and honey when I tell you three women that was working back there went the the fighting this individual back next thing you know it was all outside I mean falling down on the ground or whatever y'all know what we, we gotta stop man we gotta stop that was so embarrassing I was embarrassed for those people that were standing there and then the sad part is JP you had grown men instead of the grown men trying to break that fight up they was out there doing this right here that's what it recording. is. That's what it is now. They were recording these women fighting. You understand? And that's so sad. It it is is sad and it's oh, you, off. you, you know you what I'm saying? Off, I'm For you to be bold enough to go behind the counter. You went behind the counter so he, to he, fight these people. He wanted to, what he wanted to fight, the nuggets or something? No, it was girls. These were women. Oh, these were girls? Yeah. These were women. No, they was girls. The they air. wasn't women. Hello, hello. How you doing, Miss Alicia? I'm fine. Are you on your way? This is our guest, y'all. Are you on your way here? Yes, I'm in the parking lot. Well, come right on upstairs. Are you in a black truck? Yes, ma'am. All right, I see you parking right now. Just walk right on up the steps. Maestro is at the door. He will let you in. All right, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye-bye. <laughs> um, yeah, but y'all, it, you know, it's it's just real sad um, how we act. And you know what the sad part is? It's not just us, JP. It's not just black folk. 
But black folk are the ones that they highlight all the time. Mm-hmm. Okay, you got folk from all races, all ethnicities, all genres that do crazy stuff. And and you but, know you know when you say that that I, I'm 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 afraid that like our our um because the same way you said the 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 young people we need to listen to the young people. The young people need to listen to y'all. Go hand in hand. That's what yes. create. That's what create culture because the young people teach us about innovation mm-hmm. and 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 um and uh progress. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because we may not be as privy to the new technology that they is, exactly. and they visionaries on that. But we got the wisdom. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And yes. they need to. They need to. They need to learn wisdom from us, mm-hmm. and we need to learn. Uh, progress from them, progress, you know what I'm exactly, saying. Yes. So I think that I think that it go hand in hand. But like when I see stuff like that, it blow me, and I believe that it's because of you know the lack of wise people in these children life and on TV and in the media. Like think about this, right? In the 70s, 60s, even the 80s, and some of the. Shows like um, Family a Matters, world. A Different World, mm-hmm. Living Single, the Cosby Show, uh, uh, the Cosby show mm-hmm. where we where they where they show black love and black excellence mm-hmm. and and us working together. Now all you see is love and hip hop. You know, um, reality shows. reality shows, the Housewives of this, the right? The Housewives, Housewives of, of that, the Housewives of that, and all you see now in the black community is dr- is, is drama. Look at music. Mm-hmm. We had we had you know, you could go on for days about all of the love songs that that our favorite groups, the Temptations, mm-hmm. the OJ's, used to make Usher. Um, uh, from my generation, it was like Usher, Boys to Men, you know, um, as yet, you yes. know, they made mu- they made songs about love. Now, when you look at the media and the music, it ain't nothing but you know, take off this, pop that, mm-hmm. you know, um, uh, pop this pill. But you know what, JP? That's by design. Right, right. That's, that is by design. That, that's and that's the point I'm trying to make. Like, at the end of the day. The, them, them girls is children. They little kids, mm-hmm. and the the what they consume is what they gonna put you, into the world. You you you, feel? you you replicate what you see, right? And you brother, know? other day I was in that same McDonald's, mm-hmm. and the girl I, I I do DoorDash when I'm not doing this, and I still do DoorDash because I'm a hustler. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I don't care what nobody think. I own my own. I own my own do. business, and I DoorDash. That's right. But anyway, I was doing <laughs> I was doing DoorDash, and um mm-hmm. uh, I went in the um place and I went to get the little order that they gave me and it wasn't ready so she looks at me and goes your order not ready and I look at her and I'm like you having a bad day and she looks at me and makes like the nastiest face in the world and I'm you know I'm like listen I know you upset and I would never try to like make you lose your job but that's not the right attitude right, that I have right. towards somebody and the girl is literally like I don't care I don't give I don't give a f I don't get you work there and you snapping on me now if I wanted to be a a, a butthole I could have you know went to a manager or I could have mm-hmm. complained to corporate or something about how them kids act in that store and and I'm telling you in that McDonald's in particular mm-hmm. and you know maybe they hear it maybe they don't but the service is terrible in they the people are rude they don't and you could tell, like you, you could tell by what the way they act is what they consume in and how they live it every day. Customer service is shot. See, let me, let me tell you something. Yeah. When they talk, the, the, the same ones 
them same ones, right? Mm -hmm. and, it, and so you present it to them. See if you, you tell them, so if I was a white man, she, see if you was a white man, she wouldn't act like that. Mm -mm. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's straight up. It's like I had to tell one on one time I went to get some coffee. I told her, you ain't got to act like what you already are. What you talk about? You already ugly. You ain't got to act like it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that's a, that's true too. That's, yeah. And that's the funny yeah. thing. That's the funny thing about it. When them white folks come around, mm -hmm. you don't. You don't, you don't, That's why you don't act know. like that. Mm -mm. They, See, they, they. When you fight white supremacy, then you gotta, then you, then you gotta fight your own. That's why I tell our brothers all the time, brother, I'm not your enemy. You're not mine. Exactly. Exactly. Man, them girls tow down that store in they man. It's and, horrible. And, and that's that's all the product. We gonna be talking tonight. I'm sorry. I'm to go ahead. Go ahead. That's all the product of the of of what they consuming, man. In my in, in, in my humble opinion. Oh oh, Barbara said this is it. Uh, still broke. Still don't care. Still lying. You right, Barbara Chaplin. Caller, you're on the up. air. Good evening. To you and everybody in the Hey, Stanso! Stanso, what's going on, man? Listen, grant me 30 seconds, please. Yes, you I, have 30 I, I, seconds. Thank you. I'm outside enjoying this beautiful air, and I said, I got to click on Alicia's link, because uh, Tuesday, I didn't see her show, and they're going to live tonight. I'm like, okay, great. So, so, so let me share this with you, real seriously. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, in 1968, I listened to a DJ named Dr. Perry Johnson on WDAS-FM in Philadelphia. He inspired me to go to college, which inspired my longtime friend John Ellison to do 45 years in radio. Here's the one thing that I talked about on one of my Facebook lives about him. Mm -hmm. Dr. Perry Johnson, every show came on and said, the message is in the, the music. music. That's right. So I wanted to piggyback. I, I got off your show to call on my phone to, to, to piggyback and say, you're a thousand percent right. You know, um, the message is in the music. And all I can say is this. If I grew up on some of this stuff that these cats were, were, were rapping about. All I can say is this. I'd be your worst nightmare. Okay. Right. All I'm going to say is this. Mm -hmm. I do hear you when you talk about the young people's attitudes. I do hear that. Mm -hmm. Because if I was young, I, I put myself in the mind but where I was in 1968. When I heard Stevie Wonder say, educate your mind. Right. Yes. Off of the Do Your Favor album. Mm hmm Okay. You know, I mean, so... Listen, if, if we really want to stop the killing of all black young people, 16, 14, 15 year olds killing people up in a party in Alabama, if we really yes. want to stop that. And I mean, this serious. We got to get to these rappers and we got to get them to understand the message is in their music. Because right. if all you want to do is talk about dealing dope, shooting somebody. JP said, um, uh, you know, doing this to women. Listen. The Isley Brothers, okay, mm -hmm. said doing it between the sheets. We all knew what that meant. Right, but they wasn't explicit with it. No. Right. I, you know, Marvin Gaye, Marvin Gaye said, I want you. I want you the right way, and I want you to want me too. We yes. know what that meant. Yes. So I just, you know, Alicia, I, I went on for more than 30 seconds. You Thank good? You, for, for you, go, you, keep, you can keep going, man, because somebody on this is listening, and somebody got their child sitting here listening, even, even, and somebody got a little girl sitting here listening, a little boy sitting here listening, you know? Hey, well, you hey, know what? In, in that case, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, Stansel, you, what yes, you sir. Them, when Earth, Wind, and Fire said what it's all about, huh? Huh? It's all about love. <laughs> Loving is a blessing. It's all about yes. Love, huh? Listen, listen, I don't know if you ever remember a lady named Jackie DuShannon. Her song, Jackie What Del the Shannon? World Means Now, is Love, yeah. Sweet Jackie Love. Mm -hmm. yeah. Love, Sweet Love. All this hate stuff. Listen, I, thank you for letting me to share. I'm going to break this down as hard as I can. Uh -huh. If big time America is worried about the browning of America, by 2034, 44, whatever right. the year is. Mm -hmm. If I can get guns into the hands 
of young black people. And I can get ignorance into the mind of young black people. Come on now. Um, them go ahead and kill off they self and not worry about it. Right. I will not worry about the browning of America because them four young people that lost their life in Alabama this past weekend just cut off two, four, or six, eight kids apiece plus generations. That's right. That's a fact, man, mm-hmm. and that, that's what that's what blow me, man. But you remember that song? I can't, even, I can't remember. I know Maestro can help me with this. You know the song where all the black R and B male singers had came together. Uh, uh, uh. It was Secret, Secret Garden. It, it was a whole bunch. It was like Gerald Levert. Oh, it was. Oh, it was. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, men are. Uh, yeah, this. this oh uh, man, I, I know exactly I, I know, what you're yeah, talking I, about. I, it was on my. Um, uh, it won't come to me right now. I know what you're talking oh, you about. Know. You, you, yeah, will you will know. You will know. know. Man, listen. If you yes. listen, like, like the message that they projected and 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 that and the image that they put out there with all those black men from mm-hmm. all different you know parts of life and and music and through song and them dudes was singing. Yes. I mean. They I'm gonna go back a little further. Mm-hmm. Curtis Mayfield said, "We people who are darker than blue, are we yes. gonna sit around and let what others say come true?" And Curtis said, "How you that was Curtis Mayfield. Oh my God, y'all listen! Out in Garden City right now at the Food Lion, a two-year-old got his mom's gun out her purse and shot a man in his arm. No, what?" Vanessa just said that just happened just now at a food lion in Garden City. Mm-hmm. And I just called her and she didn't answer. No one she didn't answer. But right. See, but, see, but see, Alicia, uh, and listen, it goes back. It goes back to what happened to my our community nationwide in the 80s when mm-hmm. when when a certain uh, agency with three letters put crack in the neighborhood. Come on now. Okay, so, you know, I won't say I have respect for you, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm also going to say this. I am convinced that same agency is putting the proliferation of uh, assault weapons, other weapons in our hood. They're also responsible. Let, let me tell you something. I truly believe it. About four years, four or five years ago, young man called me off of 38th Street Park, and he said, Alicia, I, they dropping guns in our neighborhood right there on 30, um, 30, 40th Street, 40th across from uh, MLK. He said, he told everybody, when he told me, I told him to do the video and I told everybody what was going on. We got the police involved. Nothing happened. They had guns there. He said the police rolled by, looked at him and kept on going. A, a box that? of them, a box of weapons because they're trying to I've say heard that. that too, yeah. yeah, but guess what they yeah, say? They that two all over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but guess what they say? That uh, the kids are getting the guns from breaking in people's cars. Ain't no way in heck nah. that many people leaving their guns uh, in cars. If, if you, These kids getting guns. Hold on. In Pula, uh, Pula, Port Wentworth, this one man was selling guns out his back door. The police knew about it. And guess what they said? They couldn't do a thing you about know it. You know why? Because police, because they the police. They the one we're doing. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Yeah. I bet, I bet, I bet, I'm going to tell I bet you, it it's black, something. Black that no, doing no, it was a white guy All right, then. selling guns out his back door. He was selling guns for $25 to $50. I'm like, are you serious? $25 to $50. 54 are uh, handguns. Oh, And wow. you know what? You see these young men. I remember Hollis went to one of these liquor stores. And, uh, I think it was Wheat and Liquor. Said a boy came in there. He couldn't even hardly hold his pants up. And his pants was falling because he had a gun on him. And he asked Hollis for a, a dollar to get something to eat. Hollis said, well, why am I going to get you my, you, ain't you got a whole gun on you? And you rather carry a gun than to get you something to eat? That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So these young, their minds, in their minds, they think that that gun is going to save them. Yeah, but see, that, the, and, and, and like you said, at the end, how much, how much blame do you put on the young people when they grew up their entire life 
consuming and seeing this by design. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? It's up to it's up to the people who who got the wisdom to to, tell to, them to, to teach and them. To educate like like them. earlier like earlier today when those boys walked by, mm -hmm. you seen it. Like they, they for the most part, the young people respectful yes. to the elders. When you stop and like, hey, nobody said hello to me. The, I mean, these Greek cats, yeah. they come in here and they you know and they they respectful and they talk. You know and, respect. I'm sorry for cutting y'all. See. That's different than somebody come along and want to beat them upside the head with, with the Bible. Right. Okay. You can't, you can't go at them like that. So you got to, you, you you know. Did Stancil leave? No, I'm sitting right oh, here. Oh, okay. Go you, ahead. You, 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 you got you to get down to their, you got to get down to their level. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, and, and let me tell you something. See, and they listen, and they know, and they know if you, they know when you don't walk that path. They know can't say stupid. Mm -mm. All of them, they ain't stupid. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't talk to many of them. They, they they know what's happening, mm -hmm. but see when you go to, when you go to tell them, you know all that old all that old uh, 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 big word talking on. Listen here, cut all that, break it on down. Mm -hmm. Right, three five seven, break it on down. Mm -hmm. You know they understand that there. You know, and you know, and, what, it, it, and when right. they like, and you're, when they like talking with you too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Cause today in here in Atlanta, I saw a young brother with a um, ankle bracelet on. Right, mm -hmm. and I, and even though I never wore one. I get, I get it. And, you know, and I spoke to him real kind and pleasant. And the reason why is exactly what he said. I said, if the brother stops and talks to me, I'm going to give him some real, some real Stancil Johnson mm -hmm. from being his age. And then I'm going to give him some real Stancil Johnson from 72. Okay. To help him, to help him out. You know, all old guys like us ain't bad. Right. Okay. You know, we do want to help the young brothers, but if he would have stopped, I would have I would have dropped it on him like it's hot because I don't want to see him walking around with an ankle bracelet. Why? Because he's got some kind of genius in him. Exactly. He just, he's got that genius in him. So I just wanted to piggyback on what he said, man, because, you know, um, listen, Alicia, if, you, if, if anybody listened to my voice, Listen to the Facebook Live I did on a Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. You're going to learn a lot about Stancil. It's mm -hmm. the first time you will ever see me cry. Mm. And I'm going to tell you, pre-1975, before I went to college, that year is a whole backstory that what got me to that blessing. Okay. I cannot, I cannot say... But you need to know your boy was in real pain. Mm. I'm going to look at it. I gave it. a testimony. I gave a testimony as to that secret prayer I said at Lincoln University, and I gave God all the praise. Mm -hmm. I get so so. You know, when you let me talk, I'm I'm grateful. Okay. Because you know I can come with a lot of passion. Mm -hmm. Because I've been I've been I've I've been down. So low, I've, look, I've had to look up at my feet. Okay. But it was all like you started wow. on the first call. That's the deep. Message, you know what? That's deep. Message. When you've been down so low, you have to look up at your feet. Well, That's deep. I'm going to say this. And God knew I was so messed up. Mm -hmm. that he had to send two, two messengers to iron me out. Y'all just don't understand. That testimony I put into that video had a backstory. Wow. My cousin Sippy and brother Sonny. Mm -hmm. They they worked on this boy. Wow. Worked. So when y'all talk about them young people and the messages in the music. Yes, yes. I it really a is. I witness that if I was growing up in that, <laughs> We wouldn't be having this kind of conversation. Okay. Bro, brother Stansel, I'm, I'm going to say this. Yes, sir. And, I, and I, I never talk about it. You know, it's like I tell, uh, see, see, the date, these young kids, they think it's a badge of honor to go to, to go yes. jail. Yes, yes. They really think it's a badge of honor. Well, well, they I'm, would think that, Maestro, I'm, when they come home, I'm, they got a big party. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Uncle told me a long time ago. He said, I ain't, I ain't met a Negro yet to say they want to pay the tent, right? And you ain't going to meet none. Mm-mm. Right. Let me tell you something. When they shipped me off to Muskogee County, I left Jackson. Jackson, that's where the electric chair is at. That's where they killed Troy Davis. Every day, every day, 
You defeat 2,000 guys in two hours or less. You ain't got but five minutes to eat, get it, and go, get it, and go. Mm. Five minutes to eat now. And you get in the child land, there's no talking. And if they catch you talking and ask me how I know, they tell you to get out. There's no coming back. Get out. Mm. Just like that. Mm. You know? Then, then when, I, when I left there to go to Muskoka, when, 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 when the warden said, if it was up to him, we'll never get out. Mm. We would never get out. That was my first and last. Okay. See, ain't nothing to prove. See, it ain't how you, it ain't how you start up, was how you end up. That's if Lil right. Rick know where he was going to end up with from now, from now on, they say how much time. Because see, that's what they're giving out. See, how much time we got? We got from now on. Mm -hmm. They don't lose sleep when they give out 30, 40, 50 years. Mm -mm. You think they go home and tell their wife, honey, I feel so bad. No, they don't. They get right back up the next day and do it and again. And do it over again. Do it and again. And that's our judicial system. I don't talk about it because that's not a badge of honor. No. I agree. I, I hinted at it, but I didn't want to talk about it out of respect for Elisa's show. I was, I don't want to use the now term. Stan, talk so that you can, you can talk about anything that's going to benefit our people on this show. Okay. Well, I try to be, I'm trying to be politically correct, but just know this. Okay. I meant what I said. Seriously. Mm -hmm. God had to send my, my first cousin, Sissy, volunteered to come see me on vacation. Mm. Okay, volunteer. Because her first cousin was a heathen, and she said, I got to save him. God okay. sent me Brother Sonny, and br between Brother Sonny and my cousin Sissy, trust me, they ironed me out. Your, your phone is up in the background. I can hear it. Oh, my bad. Mm -hmm. I, I'm talking kind of loud. So... Anyway, I just I just want to say it's not a badge of honor. No, it's not. And like okay. you said, Stancil, it's all in the music. It's all in the music. That's that's coming through this. No. It's on his end. Turn your turn your device down, Stancil. I just took you off the speakerphone. That's probably better. No, I still hear you coming through. If you if, it, if you got your, it loud, just, just, just turn the phone or whatever device you're looking at it on down. Yeah. Well, I got you on speakerphone now, so. Um, See, it's well, coming from him. That. It's not coming well, from I thought us. it was coming from the background of this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. All right, yeah. well, look, in that case, I won't be rude. I'm going to step aside. I'm going to get back on the video and listen to you guys. Thank oh, you for allowing me to share. But the message is in the music. Yes, it is. Oh, no. Okay, Stan, so that was coming from... I wonder how. I don't know, but it's playing in okay. the background. All right. Well, listen, um, y'all, let me tell you, uh, <laughs> it's so much going on. It's so much going on. Uh, Stan, so I'm so glad you, you, you called got... in. Oh, got my fault. Go ahead. I'm so glad you called in, but I did want to talk about the 85-year-old man, the 85-year-old white man that shot the, the black boy in his head for knocking on his door. He went to go pick up his brother. He went to go pick up his brothers. Mm -hmm. He went you to know? the wrong house. Yeah, and you know, it's just so sad. You know, uh, my heart goes out to to that family. You know, to, to even even to the, the the old white man. I feel sorry for him. I, I you know why I feel sorry for him because. He now has to live the rest of his life in prison. Listen, hear me out. He has to live the rest of his life in prison at 85 years old. And, and because of white supremacy, because of a hatred, all that man had to do was go. The boy would have told him, oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm at the wrong house. Okay, son, go on. But because of hatred. Now, From that? 85 years to can, now. Can this, Come sir? on, man. Can I say this, sir? Yes. I don't feel sorry for that devil. Now, now, now I'm, I'm, I'm speaking for Maestro. We live in a prison every day as black people in this country. I don't feel sorry for that devil. And you, you know why I don't I, feel I don't, sorry for him? I, I don't feel sorry for I'm that I'm going to tell you why I don't. Why don't because you? I feel like most 85-year-old white men got a little or a lot of 
hatred uh, and racism, ra- hatred in, and racism in their yes. system. So I believe that the moment he saw a black kid at his door, he was like, "This my moment." Okay. To, to, but 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 the reason why I say you think if a you think if a white dude would have knocked on his door, he, he would have no. shot him. In? Head he no. He could, listen. He's out of the forties and fifties and sixties. He's out of there. That's what he comes okay. out of. Okay, but when I say I feel sorry for him, I feel sorry for anybody who has the mindset of a racist that's doing the things that this man did. I, I feel sorry for him because now he, he he done. He cooked, and he need to be done. He need to be cooked. Karen you know Brand, what I'm saying? Karen Brand, she need to be locked up too. She need a ride too. Look here. Then they come at the Bill Cosby. Oh yes, they better. did. Now I don't feel sorry for none of them devils. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess I have a heart. Well, I got. I got a heart. I got a sympathetic heart. Just ain't got their heart. But well, that's true too. Okay, but you know, my heart goes out to but yeah. uh, that young man, and I pray to God. You know, he's never gonna be the same because of white supremacy, and, and, and because of hatred, black, black because of racism, we're so, we're and that's forgiving. sad. But we're not forgiving one to, to one another. Well, that's true. We're too forgiving. That's true. We don't forgive one another. No, we we hold you just like when you went in McDonald's and the girl was treating you like you was a second class and, and, citizen. And, and I, and you know, but had it been a white man, oh, she would have. Yes, sir. How you doing? And, and let me tell you. Uh, 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 let me tell you. Folks don't have no moral compass. This, this, we talking five hundred years. We talking five hundred years. They don't have no moral compass. We keep so, thinking one day these folks gonna have a change of heart. They ain't had one in five hundred years. What you was about to say, JP? Oh no, I was just t- saying like you'd be surprised at how if you use the right tone with people, how it yeah. changed everything. I had to learn that because I'm extreme. If I feel some type of way, I say it. I can't mm-hmm. I can't help it. Like that's who I always been. But I learned how to use my tone better, especially when talking yes. especially when talking to black people, period. Mm-hmm. And us, you know what I mean? I used to I used to get real passionate. I used to cuss. I used to snap. I used to be like, nah, you tripping, that ain't it. But I figured out how to Anyway, the point I was making was I had was the story I was about to tell was I had a, a guy that recorded with me the other day mm-hmm. and um he wanted me to make a show a uh, um a clean version of the song that he had done. Mm-hmm. But he cussed so the much in the song that Yeah. <laughs> 